to continue this tradition, and we will. Uh, we just had to figure out a way how to. And this is our temporary solution until the next one opens its doors. 63 years of good memories in the old Coliseum. Those are over, and tonight the ABC Pro Rodeo has a new temporary home. Good evening, everybody. I'm Brian Mudd. I'm Lauren Motter. The Rodeo Committee has made its decision about where they'll temporarily hold the rodeo until the new Expo Center is up and running. KMAX Story Larned has that answer and looks at the progress on the Expo Center. The Rodeo Committee says they put a lot of thought into their decision looking at multiple places, but when it came down to it, they decided the 2020 ABC Pro Rodeo will be held at the Mallet Event Center in Leveland. We hope that everybody here is just excited we are that we're continuing and we're not going anywhere. Well, except to level in the home of the 2020 ABC Pro Rodeo. We'll still have the great seven events. We'll have the same great four shows. Leslie Cox says the temporary location will seat less fans, but those fans can expect something different next year. Uh, we're able just to really kind of open up some of those opportunities and hopefully add a few more elements to the, the rodeo week that we were not able to do here in Lubbock. But the pressure is on the Lubbock County Expo Center Committee or LCEC to get the rodeo back to Lubbock. Randy Jordan with the committee says collecting the hotel occupancy tax and rental car tax starting this month is important. With that revenue stream being vital to the payment of that bond, we need to know what their revenue stream is and, and we need to be uh, more precise in that. On Monday, the board members of the LCEC sat down with county commissioners to organize their rules going forward. The county owns it. LCEC will go into agreement with the county to operate it, manage it, uh, basically handle everything, the design, uh, all of that. Jordan says once they sell those bonds, they'll start laying the bricks of the future Expo Center. We're taking baby steps right now with the hopes that we're going to be able to take some giant steps in the next uh, few months. Now, ideally, their goal was to get those doors open in 2021, but Jordan says it's possible that may not be until 2022, but they are working hard to make it happen as soon as possible.